Alright. Let's see if I get out of here properly without getting chilled from anybody rushing to get to work because I don't understand why they would rush to get to work. But uh, here we are. It's been a while. I'm not going to lie. Four days, four or five days since uh, I did a video for you guys. I'm sorry about that, but taking care of my old noggin here. And uh, I have to say, that last workout that I did with uh, my best friend out at the Pure Muscle and Fitness, it destroyed me. That workout <laughs> made me realize I'm old. <laughs> Real old. My joints, m my entire being was shot for two days after. I could barely move. We went that hard. You only saw clips of what we did, but we went hard. Like I went all out uh, with uh, sets of failure, drop sets, triple drop sets. I threw my body under the bus that day to fucking get the job done. And I took it too far. No, I didn't because that's the type of training I, I, I loved. But now that, that, that was just too much. So, uh, made me realize I'm old and my joints can't handle this shit. And I want to preserve what I have left. So, uh, we're taking it a little differently. Today, I'll try to do a video for you guys. I tried it yesterday, and it worked really well. My legs are trashed. And I used half the amount of weight. But what I did is, uh, I would do a machine for 10 minutes. So let's say I was on the hack squat. I'd, be, I'd put it on the timer on the phone. 10 minutes of hack squats. I would do reps between 10 to 15 reps per set. Every time I hit 10 to 15, I would never go above 15. I would take a 30 second break and do it again. And again, and again, with the same weight for 10 minutes. Talk about a leg pump. I did sled pulls the same way. Sled pushes the same way, leg extensions the same way, calf raises, incredible, incredible pump. So today we're going to do the same thing. Today's a push day. It's the second push day of the week. So we're going to do chest, shoulders, and triceps. Very basic. And I give myself one hour, including a 10 minute, in that one hour, I should say, a 10 minute push, pushing of the sled. That's my cardio. So, Jesus, that sun is beautiful this morning, but holy crap, is it ever bright, eh? So, uh, <clears throat> we're going to do some incline hammer bench press and some pec deck. So that's 20 minutes. Then we're going to do, uh, excuse me. Then we're going to do side laterals. Same thing. That's 30 minutes. Yep. 30 minutes. And then we're going to do tricep dips, which involves basically the whole upper body. Fantastic. It's the upper body squat, right? And I'm going to try to do this without a machine. I'm going to do it without a, without a machine. We're going to do it free weight. So that should be interesting. I don't know how many reps I'm going to be getting, but on each set, I will go to failure and take that 30 second break. Then we'll do that push of the sled at the end 
And then some calf raises, same thing. That's one hour. I, I ask you to give it a try. Pick a weight that you think you can handle for 10 minutes for like 10 minutes, pick that weight and do 10 to 15 reps, 30 second breaks for 10 minutes. It's amazing how fast that 10 minutes goes by. So give it a shot. We're going to go in. We're going to train. Let's get this done. I apologize for no videos lately, but, um, you know, we got to take care of ourselves first. You know, this is just a, our hobby. This is not life anymore for me. But I'm trying to show you guys that we can still do it. We can still be strong. We can still be fit. We can still do all this shit and be better than the younger guys. We got to fight for our youth now. We're getting older. We got to fight for our youth and do everything possible to stay young and healthy and strong. Let's go in there and train. Love you all. All right, so we set the timer for 10 minutes. It's on right now. I got a plate and a quarter on, and we're going to do that. 10 to 12 reps, 30 second break. Boom, and keep hitting it for 10 minutes. That's the deal. Let's go. Ah. Focus on the stretch. Whew. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to do 12 because I'm realizing I have to preserve that energy to keep going for 10 minutes. So 12 seems like the number. I've already got a pump. I don't understand it. It's so weird. And I'm not getting full extension. Just doing halves. This is fucked. Two sets in. Pump to the gills. Old man strength. Finally, an easy morning. Not a lot of people. the next set I might take it a little wider holy sweet talking Jesus it's nice to see young people in the gym training this early in the morning before school that I have respect for I have respect for that Having that dedication to get up in the morning and moving their ass and not sleeping in all fucking day. I know quite a few people that do that. It uh, drives me insane. I hate laziness. I fucking despise it. Because that just shows you what their life will be. Pure laziness. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Oh, holy talking Jesus. I don't understand it, but I'm fucking loving it. Whoa. Need a sip. Wow. Brutal, brutal pump. You can already see it. Loving it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. It's only gonna buzz when it's ready. Oh, fuck. Hate that feeling. I think that's six or seven sets already. Now it's getting heavy. Holy. The sweat is on. Good morning. Yeah, baby. Go to a different world. Go to a different world. Let's go. Keep it. I'm not changing the fucking weight. I'm sorry, but I got to check because it feels like I've been doing this forever. I've got to check. Okay, so I just checked. I was right. We got one minute left. <clears throat> Whew. Oof. Oof. 
Ah, oh, there it goes. There it goes. That's insane. Insane. I really recommend everybody try that. Just push your your head mentally. Choose a weight and just go for it. Like I said, 10 to 15 reps or 12 to 15 reps. Never go above 15. And just keep repping, 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 getting it in, getting that pump, you know? We could do this. Let's stay focused and let's keep working. Ugh. All right. Moving on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now it's a little bit of puke to some pet deck. <sighs> Choose a weight. I'm going to choose one fifty. So I'm going to choose one fifty for as many sets as I could get in in ten minutes. One, two. It's okay, bud. I don't care. It's all good. We all pay a membership. We all pay a membership. That's the way I look at it. I don't give a shit. This machine, for some reason, feels weird off. So. She's a butte clerk. Forgetting to breathe. And I forgot, you know, I didn't take into effect how much of that pump. Like it, it really hit me. This weight is something. So this is set number three. I love challenges like this. I love challenging myself. Sometimes it's not about the weight. Like I've done beat the clock. This one, go with the clock. 10 minutes, as much as you can. Each exercise, give it your all. What's one hour out of 24? It's nothing. No excuses. No excuses. <sighs> excuses are for losers. <sighs> yep, I said it. <sighs> you don't need an hour, but I'm sure you got you got an hour to watch Netflix. I'm sure you got an hour to fucking play on your phone. I'm sure you got an hour to watch a movie or a TV show. You have an hour. 
even 15 to 20 minutes to do a hard, intense hit workout. There's no fucking excuses. It's a matter of choice. Do you want to be healthy or not? Plain and simple. I'd rather be healthy because if I didn't do this, I'd be dead. Completely honest, I'd be dead. This is what keeps me out of jail. It keeps me from killing myself. And that's the honest to God truth. I'm an open book. This is what keeps me here to defend my daughters who have severe mental disabilities. And this is what I do. I will keep training to stay healthy, strong for them and for myself and for the women that I love, especially my wife and my ch uh, stepchildren, my ex-wife. I have to be there for them. If I don't have this, I'm useless. That's how I feel inside. I'm useless. Remember this type of program? I have already the mass. I don't need to be bigger anymore. I don't care to be bigger anymore. I'm just trying to cut off all the fat. Get all the fat off. Like on my calves and everything. I don't care anymore. I just want to be fucking basically fight fit. You know what I mean? Be ready for anything. Anything that this world throws at you. Because if I'm too heavy, I'm going to die. I I I I'll die in a fight. I'm way too fucking heavy. You got to be fight ready. You can still have muscle. I can still weigh 220 pounds. That would be ideal. It's insane, people. It's insane. Loving it. Just going to stay focused at the task at hand, at my future, my future with my daughters and stepchildren. Staying focused, being fight ready, tactical ready. It's a struggle every day, I'll, I'll admit it. Every day it's a struggle fucking with, that's in my head. But I will overcome it. Been doing it since I was a kid. My dad introduced me to this type of training to help me mentally. And it's worked ever since. You don't need the drugs at all the time.
Good morning, Bill. How are you, Howie? Good, good. Oh, it's ringing. And that's it for that. Moving on to dumbbell side laterals. Let's get to work. Okay, here we are with the seated side dumbbell lateral raises. Let's get to work. 10 minutes. I'm gonna choose 10 pounds. Make sure you breathe through your nose. Stay calm. Because the heart will go up real quick. Like my heart is really going fast right now. So try to stay calm and just keep moving because it will get harder and harder. And uh, we've got to deal with the fight. Set two. Think of about when you're done. Add up all the reps that you did in one hour with all the weight. How much weight you moved in one hour. It's incredible. I'm actually nervous to do the dips. But we're going to do them. I might not get 10 reps. I might only get five. But we're going to do them for 10 minutes. Five. Six. Seven. Deep breaths. Bring that heart rate back down. Just like in a fight. You're doing your fight, boom, 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 boom. And then round is over. You got to just let it go. Bring that heart rate back down. You know, you just keep going. Boom, boom, boom. Different levels. It's about calming yourself down. You can literally feel it decompress. Just, you just come right back to normal. When you feel that sense of normalcy, go.
Really focus on your breathing. <laughs> it's almost like your soul's coming back after the, enduring the pain. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool when you're in that zone, the tunnel vision. You know, I feel when you come to the gym, you're here to train. You get this couple here. All they do is talk and talk and talk. They must be here for like three to four hours a day. And I think out of that, they out of the three to four hours, they, they maybe train one hour. And it's broken up. I don't know how people could do that. I want to come in and get the fuck out of this place. Because first of all, people annoy the fuck out of me, especially, especially this world that we live in. Like the people that I know, they're actually back there right there, the two older guys, they know they're cops. They know to leave me the fuck alone until my job is done, then we'll talk. That I respect. I would not be able to hang out there and listen to that fucking bullshit. I would have lost my shit. I should make a shirt. Shut up and train. Keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut and shut. Keep your mouth shut and fucking train. I think that might be my next shirt. baby you know 20 pounds ain't a lot but after you've done so many reps fucking shit is heavy Stay in the fight, guys. Stay in the fight. Stay focused. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh. And the bell rang. Beautiful. Moving on, the tricep dips. Now I'm hoping my body can handle this. I haven't done, well, sorry, I have done free weight dips uh, at home, but over here for 10 minutes, I've never done that. So I might do sets of five, who knows? Let's get to work. Okay, well, there's the dip fucking apparatus. We're going to give it a shot. I don't know how many. I don't even know if I'll be able to do it. But we're going to give her a go. Man, this is very narrow compared to that home. I don't even know if it'll hold me. Okay, that's a little hard. I don't know if my triceps will handle that. My elbow hurts already. Yeah. Shit, that hurt real bad. I'm not trying to make excuses, but that really fucking burns. I might have to. Yeah, I might have to do the hammer strength. Yeah, we're gonna move on to the hammer strength. You know what? No. No. We'll cut down the reps. We'll do fives. Oh, fuck, that hurt, man. That fucking hurt. It's so narrow. Oh, no, that ain't working. That ain't working at all. I'm sorry, but that ain't working. I'm not getting injured for this shit. So we're going to move on to the hammer dip because that, that really hurt. I don't know if it's because it's too narrow. I don't know what's going on there. And I couldn't get deep. And <clears throat> my elbow joint really, really hurt. That really fucking hurt, man. Ugh. Ugh. So we'll focus on this. Shit, we can even do it like just from the standing, bend in, and then push. up for the last time so mm. yeah see, this is wider and it's angled that old fucking piece of shit over there it wobbles everywhere it's like even my tricep bars at home are better than that fuck let's go Oh yeah, that's feeling better, way better, and a better stretch, way better. My heart rate's pretty high right now, I gotta calm it down. Get back into the fight. Get refocused. Don't let that distract me. Because I really wanted to do them dips. I even thought that maybe five reps would have done it. Not the case.
Yeah, baby. The thing is, when you do regular dips on a real dip dip apparatus, you're using your core. And I like that. This, you're not. I don't feel it as much in my stomach. Even though I'm not using the pads to brace, I'm, br I'm using my stomach. It's not enough like when you do a regular dip. In this it's simple and I like it I'm older I don't need fucking 50 fucking exercises or anything stick to the basics get the reps get the cardio and just follow the diet right dieting is key <sighs> All we have on here is 160 pounds compared to my 255 pounds on the dips, on the regular dips. So a lot less pressure on the elbows. It's getting heavy, baby. It's getting heavy. Holy fucking moly, baby. You're sick of being in a fight. Relax that mind. Relax everything. Just relax. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm doing this fasted. Yeah, I've been back fasting again. I love training fasted. It just works better than being heavy, full of shit in me. I'll grab the carbs after. Some uh, cream of rice with blueberries and uh, natural peanut butter. Now I'm good to go. Oh. 
that's it. That's it. Ten minutes of dips. Moving on. Standing calf raises. This should be fun. <laughs> All righty. Let's turn this off and we'll get it ready. All right. I'm only going to choose 95 pounds standing calf raises. Because remember, it's for 10 minutes. And yeah, it's a lot of reps. Stretch them. Always stretch them. I wish I had knees and I didn't feel the bone on bone and the grinding. Very painful. Very, very painful. That's okay. Embrace the pain. Embrace the pain. Stay in the fight. Stay in the fight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my God, the pump is unreal. Oh my God. Pump is disgusting. Oof. I can barely stand. The pump is insane. You want this? Yeah. Are you using? No, no, no. It's just I don't have no pockets. Did uh? You might as well be sitting I on did top of the floor. Sorry. I did a hundred floors on that stepper. Is that right? Yeah. Like Where's the sweat? A little bit. A little bit. I'm doing that for my hurt. Very good. You, gotta, you know what I've been doing? Pushing the sled. Yeah, that's good too. That's what I do at the end now. Yeah, but you got to bring your heart rate up, but don't overdo it. Yeah. Keep it at a nice yeah. level. And your legs really work out your heart really yeah, well. Yeah, for sure. So that's why I'm doing it. When I start, I can feel the pain in my chest. Yeah. And I just keep going and the pain goes away. Andy, ever, uh, Randy ever tell you that I did that once with him? Thought I was in great shape, almost had a heart attack. 
He told me to get the hell off. My heart rate was like at 185 or something. Yeah. 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 I couldn't, uh, I had massive pain. And he's like, you need to get the hell off. Yeah. yeah I'm like, holy shit. Hard. I didn't realize I was that bad. Yeah. Yeah. I do think the ideal is probably around 120 to 130. Yeah. Don't go above that and just keep working. It's yeah. Nice well. and slow. So that's why I push a sled. I love the sled. Yeah. I've never done a sled before. Just, all I do is put 45 pounds on there yeah. and I push it for 10 minutes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right, let's work. All right, let's work. Yeah. I love this. I love this machine. Yeah, it's a good machine. Even targets your arm, right? You're tensing and you're pulling mm -hmm. down, so mm -hmm. you're doing your, your forearms at the same time. Oh, yeah. And your whole chest, off the bottom. Yeah. That's why you look so sexy. Oh, <laughs> you and Randy. Please hear that. <laughs> you and Randy are. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, my calves are just trash. Woo! Yeah, I, can't, I can't do that. Yeah, it hurts me, but I still do it. I do it because of my back. Oh, you, it's your back needs my knee. I can feel it wobble. There's nothing yeah. holding it. So it's all bone on bone, and it just keeps grinding and grinding oh. and grinding. You, you see the yeah, they won't operate on me. Too bad. young. Not that bad, yeah. Oh, it's bad. There's bone spurs all over. They're gonna wait till I can't walk. Like when I'm done, this will all be swollen right out. That's not good, man. Yeah. Is that from a lot of Yeah, powerlifting and strongman. I've yeah. destroyed everything. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's why I don't go heavy. Mm -hmm. my legs get a good bottom end yep it is it's a good workout you're pushing with one leg your body weight yep. to the next step yep. it's really good yep. <sighs> 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 Yep. It's right on the river. Yep. Yep. Have a good day. All right. So now we're going to push the sled for 10 minutes. We got the sled plus a 45 pound plate. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go down and push and take a 30 second break. So I, I do this, and then I, I take a 30-second break. Is that your belt over there? Nope. Okay. Yep, thank you. Thing is, continuously push. Take a 30 second break. Stay focused on the push.
and breathing. Staying in the fight. Never stop fighting. Never stop fighting. No need to run. As long as you're pushing the weight, it's about 100 pounds. Just keep breathing. Stay calm. Calm. Bring that heart rate down. Bring that heart rate down. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Sing calm. Hey, buddy. Today I'm filming. <laughs> Have a good workout. Thanks. I'm a motherfucking beast. Have you ever seen that movie, Southpaw? You gotta watch it. Yeah, I filmed for my daughters. Yeah. They like to see me freak out. When I'm driving in the car, they think it's hilarious. Not like they don't see enough of it when I see them, but 21. Yeah. Like I was saying, a movie with Jake Gyllenhaal, Southpaw. Have a good day. An inspiring movie. It's awesome. The training he did for that movie, it showed his dedication, that's for sure.
This will get your heart up. Oh, you're fine, you're fine. <clears throat> Not gonna lie. Have a good one. I hope this is almost done. go wow well there you have it that's the workout I really recommend you guys give it a shot it's very when you're done and you think about the amount of weight you pushed it's insane just do the math if you have the time which we all do, do the math of how much weight you actually pushed for how many repetitions, add it all up. You'd be amazed in the thousands of pounds you pushed in one hour. It's amazing. You know, you can bench press 450 pounds for one rep, but then... When you have, man, that's steam coming off me, man. That's how much I'm sweating. That's fucked up. When you got like 160 or 170 and you do it for 10 minutes with 30 second breaks for 10 to 12, 15 reps, <whistles> or even the one set at 170 for 10 reps, let's say. At 1,700 pounds, compared to your one, compared to your 450 for one rep. Yes, it takes a lot of effort. I'm not dis disagreeing with that or anything. Listen, I love powerlifting; it's in my blood. I've been doing it forever. But when you try something different and you do something like this, the the amount of output you have to put out of your body. And the amount of oxygen that your body requires, it's on another level, man. You know? Whew. Like, let's face it, uh, CrossFit doesn't get a, a good name in this world, especially at the beginning because of their forms and everything. It sucked real bad, especially in the deadlift and everything like that. But, man, look where they've come to now and look at the money that it's bringing and look how long powerlifting has existed, and there's no money. There's nothing. Not even close to what a CrossFitter makes. What does that say? You know, it's a shame. Powerlifting is amazing. Same with weightlifting. Where's the money? There's none. There's none. 
And look at the CrossFitters now. Those fuckers are jacked. And hey, let's all face it. We all know they're not all, but there's some that are on that shit. Come on, we're not stupid. And hey, you do what you got to do. But man, you got to try out this workout. My calves and my legs after yesterday, and then going and push that sled again for 10 fucking minutes and trying to stay calm. And I'm trying to talk as I go, because if you could talk, you're in a good state of mind and you're in a good breathing space. It's incredible. Like I told you guys, when I started the incline hammer bench press, by the second, third set, my chest was going to fall off. And I'm doing this fasted, guys. And I'm also, I'll be honest, I'm on less gear. I'm doing a shot a week. I used to do one. I used to do two shots a week. I'm down to one shot a week of DECA. That's it. Because DECA seems to work for me for holding muscle. So I do one shot of DECA a week. Occasionally some creatine. I take all my mold, my vitamins there, but yep. Like I said, I'm, I just don't care about the size. Oh, excuse me. Oof. That was pre-workout coming up. That's another thing I take pre-workout. But yeah, size doesn't mean shit anymore. I want to be able to play with my grandchildren. You know? I want to be able to get off the floor. You know, when you're 5'7", 255 pounds, your knees are shot, your ankles are shot, you have no fucking triceps, try to get off the floor, it's not too fucking easy. You're looking for a chair or, or, a, or a couch to pull yourself up off of. I want to be able to roll around with my kid, grandchildren on the floor, you know. Be able to walk with them. Take them out to Dairy Queen, you know, and shit like that. Have some fun. So, but I'll still be fucking strong. Mark my words, I'll never be weak. So anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a fucking try. It's fucking brutal. And if you do try it, leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you did and how it worked and how you felt. Because I feel amazed that I did it, but I also feel like a bag of shit. Like I want a nap. <laughs> hey, y'all, I love you all. God bless you all. If you don't believe in that, whatever. Thank you. I appreciate you all. Have a great fucking day. Love you.